started with Xenia today, sort of on the on the rougher side of the island. Um, some beautiful dark shells, and the water's kind of still a little bit a uh, little bit dark because the sun hasn't quite popped yet. Should be out any second. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and get some nice body shapes out of her in a more sort of a rough environment as opposed to these clean sandbank environments we've been going to. Uh, and I sort of thought she would be a good place for her. She works really well, so um, she could handle the sort of a, the harder the harder work area. So we'll see how she goes. shooting uh, with world swimsuit so I feel like home being and uh, with the same company every year because we know each other we know how we work together and it's amazing and I really enjoy it because every year we are going to some places that I can call as a paradise so I shot Xenia for the first time this year I'd always heard amazing things about her um, but producers always said you know you're gonna love this girl she's just absolutely amazing and they and they weren't wrong well she definitely epitomizes in the cliche that Dana becomes a small packages because she really does. She's got every angle works on her. She's just a complete Tasmanian devil, literally. Just every angle works. You just shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot. You just want to carry on because it's, it's so much fun and to, and to be able to, to work through the, so many different moves and, and to kind of stay away from the cliche poses and find those little nuances between you know your A point and your B point. She just covers all of those basics and it's quite amazing to work with a girl on that level and to put her where you want her and, and not have to really do much after that. With Xenia, I didn't really have a plan. Normally I plan what I want to do. And because I never had time to do that, you know, I, I decided I would get to the island and I would kind of make it up as, as I went along. What's unique about the Maldives is that there's so many different types of places. So you don't have to shoot a whole story in one place. You can actually shoot, you know, shot here, shot there, on that side, on this side, blue water. You know, in the forest, it was just, where do I take her? And, and what I initially had planned after wrecking the location, I actually, when I arrived and to shoot that morning, I sort of, I decided that there was a certain type of light that I thought she looked the best in. The location was working in that environment. So we literally made it up as we went and, and it, it just worked out. It just, everything just fell into place without any effort or any problem. Uh, I didn't have to fight for the shots, didn't have to look for the shots. Everywhere I put her, it just worked 100%. And it became less rather about location and more about her. You know, I always say things happen for a reason and in this case certainly did. I never shot with Chuck before and uh, when I figured out that I'm shooting with him this year I was very excited because I, I saw his work uh, online and in World Swimsuit and I really enjoy his pictures. My favorite swimsuit, it should be less top and less bottom. And it's true. <laughs> Don't look at me like this. <laughs> it's a low down, dirty shame. 